Lottie and we have another subscription box for you tonight. How exciting. This one is a really cool one and it's for all you bakers out there. So this is from The Baking Club and basically inside is everything that you'd need to make a recipe. So how exciting is that? We're gonna give it a go and see how we get on because I do love a spot of bacon. I'm not saying I'm any good at it, but I enjoy doing it, so let's go. Okay. Oh, I see chocolate! Oh, wow, wait, oh my goodness, this is like a proper baking kit. Okay, so we are making chocolate marble cake. How exciting is that? It is prep time of 30 minutes, bake time of 20 to 30 minutes, and it serves 12, and inside a really nice detailed pictures of what things should look like and what we need to do. So inside the kit it tells you what's inside we have quite a lot of stuff i'm so excited and then it says what we will need okay so i will be making it just yet which is a bit disappointing but never mind so inside i need to go to the shop and buy 380 grams of unsalted butter i have eggs but i need four medium eggs i need one orange i've got milk and i've got two uh circle tins so I'll be right back while I go shopping and grab these quickly. Right, so it's actually the next day and we are finally gonna get this cake made. So, first of all is preheat the oven, done. Grease, the, uh, grease and line your baking tins, done. Uh, unsalted butter and caster sugar and then beat for about five minutes. So let's get that done next. <laughs> we'll fit in the mixer, get in. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> I like this as well, that it actually tells you the numbers on the bag. So like to me, you wouldn't know which one's which, but it actually says bag one is the caster sugar. So that's 190 grams. Bag one, that's it. I love that. So no scales. Oh, this is gonna be so easy to make. Right, that's done. And I also got the next step done, which was to put the flour and the egg in the bowl. And then we have to put half of this mixture in as well. Oh my goodness, this smells really good. <laughs> we need some sort of like smell of vision Right, so that's the marble side of the cake. So that's the white bit. Now I've got to do the same with the chocolate side. So now we get to make the marble effect. So that is where we put a dollop of each mixture in and then we like swirl it around and stuff. So that'll be fun. And lucky for me, I've got no kids to lick the bowl, so it's all mine. <laughs> so there's number one. So there we go. There's our cakes ready to go in the oven, and they go in for 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to put a timer on my phone. My kitchen smells amazing right now. Okay, so I'm getting them out, and we'll test them. The tops are a bit more marbled than the bottom, <laughs> but never mind, they're gonna go the other way around anyway. Now I'm making the syrup, which is just the leftover orange juice and the caster sugar packet. While the cakes are actually cooling, I'm gonna start on with the toppings. So I have mixed together the butter and the icing sugar to make the buttercream. In one, I've added a te teaspoon, sorry, <laughs> a teaspoon of the orange juice. And then in the second one, I think we're putting chocolate in it. So I've got our dark chocolate and I've gotta melt it. Yeah, and then add it to this bowl to make chocolate buttercream. Oh my goodness. Boy, the kids are gonna be happy with this dessert tonight. The two icings are ready, and I'm just waiting for the cake to be a little bit cooler, and then I'll start piping. Another great thing that they've actually put in the box is this butter measurement. So it actually tells you on a regular size butter packet how many grams are in each slice, which is brilliant. Also, it has a conversion chart. So when they said um, tablespoons, I don't have a tablespoon. I have dessert spoons and teaspoons, but it also tells you how many of each one that you need to use. So that's a brilliant thing to keep in your drawer, um, in your baking cupboard and things like that. So you can always refer back to it. So I'm definitely keeping that. 
for the buttercream, we're actually doing blobs, which is fun. Um, and we're doing it like as if it's a marble pan. So you can pretty much go however you like with it. And then we're going around the edge with these ones. So to finish off, we use our chocolate sprinkles to decorate over the top. How exciting. I love that they're marble sprinkles too. So there we go. We have our marble chocolate orange cake. How exciting. I can't wait to show everybody when they come home a bit later. It was super easy to make. I'm not even gonna lie about it because it's quite daunting to think about making like a two tier cake. But because again, everything was so easily labeled, it was all set out lovely. It was really, really easy to make. So thank you very, very much for sending me the pack because I've really enjoyed making it. If you would like to try out the Baking Club subscription, you can go on the link down below and it'll have all of the details for you. Uh, yeah, thank you very, very much again for sending me the box. I've really, really enjoyed making this one and I do highly recommend using this company. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye! Wow. That is a yummy cake.